Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Making beef soup tonight. I'll show you guys. The medium heat and have sesame oil. Good amount of it. Before it's all well done, that's when you soak water. I think this is a good time. Let it cook here a little bit. Hi guys. Now, green onion, tofu, daikon radish, garlic. Cut the radish to the size that is easy to eat and garlic. Those are the blood that came out, so you want to take that off of it. Ta da! It's been cooked for 10 or 15 minutes now. I cut off the tofu, it is the silk style, so it's really really soft, that's why I cut it inside of this package puff and cut a slice like that, so you can just dump it in the soup. I chopped up green onion, now the tofu is in, and green onion, boiling water here to make noodle. This is a soy sauce that I like to put in the soup. I use this scoop thing for two. I'm going to let it boil for about 20 minutes. I normally eat the soup with the rice, but my husband wants to have soba noodles. I'm gonna put some salt in it. Let's look at this. Ooh, yum! It smells so good, guys. Okay, the noodle is all done, and I rinse it off and drain the water. And I'm going to put the soup this is for Joshua boy he loves tofu Ta -da! Is that good? Yeah. Good. Mm. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Yummy! I finished all and I want more. But wait for me. Wait for you, Kat. Hey, we're having dessert. Ooh. Ooh, yummy. Coffee bean. Got that from Trader Joe's. Welcome to our lunch time. This is the easiest Korean style. Fried egg. That's two for Joshua, one for Lydia. Two I'm gonna make later on. Not sure if you guys have had seaweed before, but this is a good kind. Organic roasted seaweed snack. It's a snack, but actually we wrap this in the rice and eat it. It's like snack. Just to put it a little bit. Mm. Super tasty. That's it. I heat up the leftover broccoli. So this is for Lydia and Joshua. Really crispy and tasty. It's seasoned with the salt and the sesame oil. So I just wrap it. Lydia and Joshua both love well done fried eggs. So this is theirs. I'm gonna make mine kind of runny. Joshua, you want it too. And this is mine? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's Joshua's 
lunch. Easiest and most tasty. She loves it. Yeah. I'm gonna have the same. And kimchi. Nothing you can fail yours. Mmm. This is kimchi. Let the kids go outside as they are just so bored at home. And Caleb is already he fell asleep in that position. He's got one sock on. And the big girl, she wants to dress up nice and pretty. And Joshua is in PJs. I didn't want to put sunscreen, so I just put this on. Really nice. Spring weather we have. I heard your echo. Okay, one, two, three. Watch out! <laughs> Hello, hello! Today I am going to make gobi. I've got onion and also garlic. I'm gonna show you guys the meat. I washed and rinsed off all the dirt and just rinsed off some red blood and just cleaned it. Now I'm going to. Hello, guys! Oh, man! Hello, guys! Garlic. Apple. I added a little bit of water so it blends better. You don't have to make it like this watery, but just use any type of blender and I prepare the glass container. I am using one spoon, just do the same spoon, but two. Soy sauce, one, two, three, four, five. This is maple syrup. You can use brown sugar, one, or any type of sweet, two, three. I think I need a little bit more. I'll put one more. Mix me all. Not quite one. Black pepper. Like 11 sesame seeds. This is the baked version. So it smells really good. Spread it. 
a bit. Kids don't really love ginger flavor, so I don't use that, but you could add some little bit of ginger in here. This is the meat that has washed by me and also been drained. There you see. So I'm going to put that one by one in this. It smells really good. gonna cover and that one thing came off the day I bought it is that bad anyways just no time to return this I'm gonna just put this whole thing in the refrigerator I find the best flavor it gives is like three days later being in the refrigerator well of course you can start to cook 30 minutes later after you have that marinated so that's it and it will last about five days and i love that plus size is just perfect for galbi every single time it works so that's it and i'll show you guys once i start to cook hello yeah. hello tonight 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 for dinner oh my goodness making tofu soup, I call it, but in Korea they call it soybean paste soup, but this is like my version of it to make it better for kids to eat and I use the things that kids like to eat like seaweed and tofu, a bunch they love to eat and they like miso soup, so I make it pretty mild, Korean style is a lot more thicker and uh, I would say wilder <laughs> than the typical miso soup that you get at Japanese restaurants when you get sushi the soup that comes with it's different so the version that I make is with the Korean soybean paste and also I'm making leftover rice with egg it's the I'll say egg fried rice super simple also and it goes really well with this soup and i chop up my little boy he's been walking well not really but he's been trying to walk <laughs> Shasha keeps saying excuse me because he just likes to bother mommy is that right Maswa. Pretty funny. okay i got this green onion chopped really small amount but it looks better if you chop it like how to say diagonal my kids don't really like to eat these so i just make it really tiny so they can eat it you know they cannot really see i mean they can see but you know what i'm saying five eggs of the leftover rice i've had in the refrigerator sometimes so that is going to be cooked tonight and i need a little more rice so i'm gonna mix with the fresh rice that i have in the rice cooker but normally it's better to use it from the refrigerator Oh, and this is the tofu I use. Even it says soft, it's not as soft. So I normally like to go with the silken. Um, that's what I prefer and my kids really love. I got really bad. <laughs> use the zucchini in the soup. It's really good if you have a little bit of jalapeno to put in it. Okay, the soup is boiling. I happen to find the mushrooms, so I chop them all and put them in. Just a little bit alone. And now I have the wok here. And with the medium heat, put some grapeseed oil. I put one more egg as I 
decided to make more rice. I found more leftover <laughs> in the refrigerator. A little bit of salt. Poor boy, he's stuck there. Put the leftover rice here and just stir them up. It says premium soy sauce, six months fermentation. And this, I'm going to put that. You took a shower. I have sesame oil, just a little bit. Oh, that's my favorite. I don't like it. That is all looking nice and fluffy and smells so good. And the soup should be done by now. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. That is for Lydia girl. She loves seaweed and tofu. I'd like her to have some mushrooms. The teeth smile. Eee. Oopsie. Oopsie. Ah. Ah. Did you guys see? There. There you see. Did you guys see that? Aha. I'm so proud of his two teeth. So cute. Cute, cute kitty. He wants to stand up nowadays. Broccoli here. Yummy! I just tasted it. It was so good. Oh my goodness. Here. Okay. Of course, I have kimchi for myself, and Lydia's been eating. Mm -hmm. That's Josh's portion. He's cleaning up his room, and here's the coffee. My husband's enjoying already. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells so good. Me too. Me too. You like galbi or bulgogi? Um, galbi. Galbi? Okay. Um. Lydia loves what mommy cooks, right? I'm happy. Yeah, Hello, look. Hello. Big Pokemon. And I got tiny Pokemon. I got tiny Pokemon. I got tiny Pokemon. Oh yeah, look at those. Look at these. It's crispy outside and chewy and it's moist inside. It's got the apple and sweet onion and also the cooking wine made it really tender. 
and also maple syrup of course it made it more sweet so it's sweet but not too sweet it's got the soy sauce and all the good stuff it makes the, the best flavor ever i just absolutely love and my husband ate a bunch of it now um this is like third time eating and it's so yummy mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you can also use the lettuce to wrap it to eat it to make it more fresh and you know to have something vegetable to go with it but i got the broccoli the kids love so that's our dinner love it and if you have kimchi it just goes really well with bulgogi or galbi or any type of korean food because koreans love kimchi and joshua can eat kimchi right calm down low if you want to see more pokemon cards what oh joshua is saying comment down below if you want to see more pokemon cards is that what you Pokemon want to say? Pokemon cards and yeah. tiny ones. Right. Come down below if you want to see more special Pokemon cards. And tiny mm. ones. Mm. Tiny mm. ones. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Come on, my little boy. Lydia girl just woke up. Hello. She's hungry now. <laughs> Caleb is with me right here and I already marinated it and here I just marinated two separate steaks big chunks and just put salt and pepper on both sides and I put a little bit of soy sauce just put some not too too much put some olive oil that's it. Most simple and easiest but tastes so good type of thing is the steak. I have this in the refrigerator for two or three days. It tastes really good. You can just make it just today or next day. We're gonna have leftover dishes for dinner tonight and I'm going to make just the spinach with garlic. Not quite sure how many, but I know three or four different types of spinach, and this is my favorite style. It's got long and it has the root that is attached, and this part is actually really sweet and it's got the most vitamin. So I choose this type of spinach at Asian market the one that we use for smoothie that's the one i don't really love because it really does not have much of the vitamin it does have fiber but most of the time the good stuff always is in the root so i just uh, peel like this and wash on the top as it could have some dirt on top of it Try to bring up the ones that are already cooked up and bring the newer ones to the bottom. In the middle of it, just try to put the salt here and there a little bit because 
they tend to get together, stick together later on. much but all gone they're all in here these are almost all cooked yeah they're not so small right all done don't cook too long because it becomes soggy when it's not cooked too long it's more crunchy and as always I put sesame oil that's it so good oh my goodness i love it tried it you know so good guys crunchy crunchy right, <laughs> josh got the pork belly as he loves and two pieces only left so i'm gonna give it to him and lydia is gonna have beef, beef. And Caleb's favorite things to play is right this. <laughs> and I made the beef soup leftover and I added just more tofu. Here's Joshua's and this is Olivia's. You happy? Coffee bean balls. It's from Trader Joe's. This is another dark chocolate. This is my absolute favorite. Very deep coffee flavor. And this is like dark chocolate. So I love it. And I like to mix it with the coffee. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. I really like this waffle cookies, yummy chocolate. Actually, anything chocolate I've tried at Trader Joe's, and this is a really good one. Try it if you have a chance. 